Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I'm going to present the presentation about health promotion. First, uh, definition of health promotion. Health promotion is the process of enabling people to increase control over and to improve their health. It improves beyond a focus on individual behavior towards a wide range of social and environmental interventions. And then strategies of health promotion, formulation of policies relevant to health promotion, obtain community participation for health promotion, requirement and organization of services necessary for health promotion, build a health promoting environment, develop skills required for health promotion. And then centers of health promotion. Health promotion can be carried out in various settings. We can make our home a healthy promoting centers. The school, village, city, hospital and workplaces can be converted to health promoting centers. I paste uh, some pictures for village, city, hospital. And then actions to develop school health promotion. Formulation of health promotion policies. By formulating health promotion policies, we can create a favorable environment to promote health within the entire school system. Students have a great responsibility to make school health promotion policies and work according to them at school level. We can get example like policies for waste management. Building an environment favorable for health promotion. There are some factors that should be present in our physical, mental and social environment to promote health. In physical environment, provision of clean drinking water, building classrooms with educate light and ventilation, school garden, accident and danger free environment. In mental environment, students should not be insulted. There should not be any form of abuse. All students should be treated equally. The school environment should be free of stress. There's a picture for the mental environment. And then social environment, safeguard democracy, health student teacher relationships, providing opportunities for sports activities, availability of space for group activities. And then community participation in health promotion. We can get example like Shramadana campaigns by members of the committee to minimize accidents that can occur in school premises. Constructing a sports ground school and reducing greater sales outlets around the school to prevent school children from being introduced. And then developing skills required for health promotion. This involves improving skills to develop health promoting behavior. Example, good decision making, selecting healthy food from what is available in the market. Effective communication, the ability to understand what is implied in advertisements correctly. Developing skills such as consuming healthy meals, following an active lifestyle and being able to face and manage life stresses successfully. The skills can be developed by providing knowledge through book and educational workshops, group competitions, debates and sport competition. And then provision of required services for health promotion, government health inspections to improve the health status of school children, PHI, MOH, PHM are some of the public health services which help to rise health status in the school. All students must undergo school health inspection inspections during specified periods so that any health deficiencies. And then criteria for school health promotion. State below are some several criteria. The school accepting the need to follow established health policies 
recognition of health policies that can be carried out by their school, identifying methods of carrying out these health policies. At last, laws pertaining to school health promotion in Sri Lanka. Com uh, first, compulsory health education from grade 6 to grade 9, and then compulsory provision of health facilities. Prohibit the consumption or sale of unhealthy food. Prohibit the possession or use of these alcohol and drugs. Thank you. Thank you for listening my uh, presentation.